That, there we go. My... <clears throat> yep, 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 there we go. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. Testing, testing? There it is. Yep. Okay. Sorry. I act, I had some technical difficulties over the weekend and that messed some stuff up but hey I fixed it um, and I'm just an idiot so go figure anyway hi guys welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed edition Brotherhood um, last week we finished Assassin's Creed 2 and now we're on to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood thus the name uh, we're continuing the story of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, um, picking up almost where the game, pr basic, the previous game basically ends. Um, so, uh, yeah. Now, if you sat through the, uh, intro, you may notice, have noticed that I've got new mu stream music. Um... The, the songs are from the band called Galactic Kraken. And yes, that is the best band name ever. Uh, <laughs> uh, their new album, Starship Velociraptor, also the best name ever, uh, <laughs> has uh, is coming out soon, or is already out? I think it's coming out soon. Um, and there is a link of a link to their website in my link tree, where you can pre-order their album. Uh, it's also available on. Uh, you can pre-order it through iTunes, get a actual signed CD, or you can have it pre-saved on Spotify. Um, all through their website, galactickraken.com. Um, it's, like, right over here. Um, yeah, it's, like, like right-ish, here-ish. It's in this area. Anyway, um, sorry, I was completely distracted by my massive, uh, face on my phone. Uh, <laughs> Welcome, Rose! Welcome, welcome. Uh, but yes, check out Galactic Kraken. Um, uh, you can also Google them. Uh, they, I think they have a YouTube. I know that Jonathan Young, who is one of the uh, people in said band, um, it has a YouTube. I follow him, and he's amazing. Uh, he, do he does all kinds of things from, like, Disney covers, but metal, to, like, to, like, well, his own stuff and his own fantastic stuff. Um, but he's amazing. You should definitely check him out. Um, he's on Twitter. Uh, Galactic Kraken is also on Twitter. And uh, yeah, anyway, so check them out. Link to their website is on is in my link tree, and you can uh, search them on social media for their social for their social media stuff. Um, but yeah, before we actually get into this game, make sure you guys take a second. Hydrate. Hydration is important posture check uh that's definitely something i need to work on um and uh stretch your back your neck your muscles etc 
Ah, uh, hold on, let me get rid of this window. Um, and uh, yeah, just take a second if you can, and relax a bit. Let me turn myself down. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's, let's get into Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Indus. Sorry, just a second. We'll do that again. Because I just realized I forgot to get rid of my big face. There we go. Nope, nope, spoilers. Nope, I don't want to exit the window. I want to exit the main window. Uh, the main menu. Spoilers. All right, let's. Uh... Oh, fucking hell. My mouse occasionally double clicks, and so that's what just happened. Exit. Let's do this without the mouse, shall we? Uh, we want story mode, and then we want to delete that. There we go. I don't think yeah. anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. That's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Peace of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. And this is my story. After the cutscenes, I'm going to take a second and mess with some run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. You play action completed. Never mind the fact that I've completed that action like a hundred times by now. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you. 
Desmond. I don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. Isn't that the camera? December 1499. Alright, cutscene's done. I'm gonna pause it one second. Because I need I'm going to bump the game audio up a bit. Down mine of just a tad, just a smidgen. <sighs> and. Oh, wait, hold on, I need to. Hide that. And. Bump that down just a tad bit as well. New game, new settings. Because, of course, it is. Um. But yes, welcome Rose, if you're still there. Um, I hope you've been having a good day. I didn't really take the time to do much chatting at the top of the stream, but you know. Alright. Really quick, make sure I remember to change custom controls. I did need it. That should be better. Okay. Um, let me quickly make sure I'll... I did this last week, but I want to make sure it didn't look like it didn't look like But I want to be sure. There we go, game. Alright. Uh... Yes, you're all on ice. Quick refresher backstory on Ezio Atenore. left his uh, cloak. He also took the apple out of the staff. Probably would have taken the staff if he could have, but it wouldn't have lifted. in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle, what can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Fair. All right. Uh, hold on. Now it's loud in my ears, so let me... Um... I believe... Nope, nope. Which is the one that I mess with to mess with my audio? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, so it's still coming in strong there, but if I turn this down... It still comes in strong there, okay. Okay, so, then I can turn either of those down. I'll go ahead and turn that down. Okay. All right. Follow the highlighted path. Oops, wrong button. It's only been a week. How am I this rusty already? The game, the game hasn't changed that much. You 
would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. <clears throat> Quick refresher of Mario Auditore. Oh, look. Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! Monks. You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go at you, now! Welcome, Yvonne! You missed the music, how dare you! He's in the voice of the devil! Turn away from them! Welcome, Yvonne, but I'm glad you can make it. Better late than never. There will be uh, new music at the intermission as well Did as Rodrigo as manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Be ready to fight. What are you doing? Saving you from the lookout. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agreed. You still have some skill. Buona questa. Excellent. I see. Go. Good one. Impressive. <laughs> Achievement. Serial killer. Sounds about right. Uh, with the combat in this game, they introduced uh, some uh, combat flow quick kills. Make it so the combat goes faster. Which is great. It's one of the things that makes that I'm really happy to have. I'm Last so sorry. I checked, this was not the wild. Quite that one. I followed a little too close. You're gonna lay down? Well, go lay down! Watch my stream while laying down. Turn it on your computer and then walk away. And then, like, go lay down while it's on the computer. Good to know that you've been uh, that you're still here though. waiting on you, Mark. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to drop me. It there, it's just gonna you land can do with it as you will later. Benny. Jump! 
dropping it over the edge. It was going to land on the street. Took them a year to get back to month of, uh, well, not necessarily a year, could have been a few months. It was August. To, yeah, then Minerva months. talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See. Si. Yeah, Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? We upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. This place just keeps getting better. They all love it. Thanks to you. Because he brought them, he literally Brother. poured Cloud. the finances into the town to make it better. Like it is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forley is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished, then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain I mean, everything no. there. Unless he died of Steal natural yourself, causes. Steal yourself, Itsuki. They will have many the questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Brief recap on my favorite Assassin's Creed. One of my favorite Assassin's Creed. I could dress up like Ezio from the early parts of the of the uh, previous game. Hey, generic! Welcome, welcome, welcome! You've never seen Assassin's Creed Brotherhood! Ooh, interesting. We just started. Um, <laughs> this is your hometown where everyone loves you and you still don't walk the streets. Accurate. It's faster to run across the rooftops. You've only played one and two. Dude, you've got to pick up the rest of them. They're all good. Um, I will vouch my literal life on that. And Dorito, how you doing? I could run around as Desmond if I wanted. How y'all doing? I'm glad y'all could make it. Especially you, Science. I know that sometimes the uh, internet doesn't agree with uh, Twitch.
So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Twitch is feeling generous. I'm glad. I'm glad that Twitch is feeling generous. Um, and to be fair, because I now have a monitor that's bigger than 1080p, I, we probably should be glad that Twitch is letting me stream at 1080p instead of the, uh, the Salve, much Messere. higher. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. I mean, fair. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to uh, work like Matt. You did an oral presentation. You Who need to oral fill her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from France, yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that ha, ha, is the... Ha, ha. Totally not something I already have in my arsenal. The future. At all. Totally not. <laughs> but yes, fuck this guy. He's such a jerk. About the environment, justice, and feminism. Hey, all very important topics. What have you done? I hope we you did very well in your presentation. They were not did. ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. <laughs> Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Something to test the alignment. Oh god. Uh, how work. So finicky, but it's something that I need to remember because it comes up later. <laughs> Shoot, I did not mean to hit that. The aiming mechanism is fine. The problem must be behind the cannon. I turned myself down because I was so worried about... I'm always so worried about uh, making making the game louder... Or making myself louder than the game. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, general concept. Person from modern day experiences the memories of their ancestors through a contraption called the Animus. Um... Templars versus assassins. Templars want to take over the world and control it and enslave it. Um, whereas the assassins try are wanting to stop the Templars. That's the general general concept. Um, for the more for more uh, 
for more specific, uh, for more specific, um, the description of what's happening in this game. Just started it, it picks up right where the previous game ends. The previous game ends with, uh, this assassin, Ezio. Must go. Going for your uh, help. to fight. If you hear the, Pope, the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing. The leader dawn. of the Templars. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Ezio, best assassin, says the guy who's only played two, assa two of the like 11 Assassin's Creeds. Hey, Melodor's here. Everybody, wish Twitch Jesus a happy birthday. And, um, generic, I would argue with you on that, but not right now. Because <laughs> there are some qualifiers that need to be put into place. Um. But yes, wish, wish everybody wish uh, Melador219 a happy birthday. He's old as fuck. By which I mean, we all are. Ages, 400 years, in a span of a second. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have he's, lost his faith for He's not Jesus, he's Twitch Jesus. Do not despair. Yes. I will it's bring It's because you um, if, you, you, if you check out his streams, he's got hair and a beard that make him look like the typical depiction of Jesus. Ooh, horsey. All right. Come here, buddy. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, the Twitch chat held uh, Melador's comment. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Grazie Rose, I forgot to give you mod. I can no longer Sorry. keep up with the horses. You absolutely could have done that. enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle you. Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Alright. But yeah, so... Um, in Assassin's Creed 1... Uh, the main character of this of the first two games, Desmond Miles, who is the modern day assassin reliving his ancestors' memories. Um I'll help her out in a second. This box is heavy. Yeah, it's a whole family of assassins, more or less, and it's across oh. the entirety of history. Assassin's Creed one takes place during the Crusades, uh, the first uh, Assassin's the Creed two Brotherhood no and girl. Revelations take and place should be helping in me. And look, the Italian no Renaissance. One. Uh, every game has, almost every game has a different this. member of the same family, yeah. Uh, there's a few that carry on the tradition or the carry on a different no aspect of the girls. thing. An army should be helping me. And look, no one. Need some help. I love her. Salve. This chick right here. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. Smooth. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers Smooth. are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class yes, to yeah, accompany me. What makes you think <laughs> I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. She says, not what knowing she's know talking Ezio? to Ezio. Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. <laughs> From what I gather, must be some interesting he's family reunions. She is yeah. right. Not wrong. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure Dude. I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Bruh. 
Ezio Auditore, the smooth man whore. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. Well, with this type this of assassins, neither. It's own. less comparing Maybe kills and more compelling this, and comparing uh, what me. Templar plots you've stopped. Bruh is such a man whore. And we will see why here in a moment. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother. Machiavelli. It is done. Yes, that Machiavelli. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vatican and faced Rodrigo. No! Used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Technology. Who is Desmond? And where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise and yes, power that robbed Rodrigo Borgia. No, none of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remains so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Uh, back in the previous game, um, the uh, it, previous game was Ezio's early life, how he, uh, he was born, how he was raised, how he... Uh, became an assassin. Uh, this game is he's an assassin and he's you know becoming a leader of the assassins. And then the next game is is the twilight years of his life. Um, and then we move on away from Ezio to other assassins. Um, in the first in the previous game, uh, half his family is executed after being framed for tr crimes against Florence, uh, Firenze, the place he's from. And, uh, uh, yeah, anyway. So, and here's where we learn why and how Ezio exactly is a man whore. It's like... An hour or two ago, he was flirting with that chick on the street. Maybe a little bit longer. Welcome back, Rose. And this is not the chick on the street. 
Welcome home. Welcome back, Rose. Just in time for the one sex scene you act you get in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Although it's not very graphic from what I remember. Mass Effect is more graphic. Because, I mean, that's all we get. But still. <laughs> yeah. So that's, uh, that's exactly why Ezio is a man whore. Oh, wait. I forgot. There was more. So how's everybody doing today? How was work, Rose? <laughs> really? Nobody's going to talk to me right now? <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> I was about to say, really? Nobody's going to talk to me? They're watching the sex scene? Go again? You don't need to ask. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. <laughs> Shh. What's that? For Probably story purposes. just training exercises. Yes. And uh, art artistic character design. Yeah. Merda. I have to find Mario. Look, there goes his really nice armor. Tools. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. <laughs> well, you're in the right time period for, for uh, Corset. It's the Borgia. How did we not see this? They must have mapped to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a I know, right? <laughs> Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Onto. Be careful. I will. Um, it is indeed bad timing to get laid. However, Ezio Abitore, the man with simultaneously the best luck and the worst luck. Welcome, welcome. The roads seem to know each other. Like 
missing too it's often gone. to actually be able to succeed this. I mean... Rose knows rat. Good. Welcome, welcome. Load in and I will man gladly man the cannon. Queen has arrived. Welcome, Queen. Let's try this again. For a third time. Signore, signore, thank God. We must put it back. Aim for the cannon, signore. Let's try for the left.
I am here for this technical chat. Anything you want, you don't have to chat about this game. There it is. Yep, I missed way too many times with the first cannon. Destroy their cannons, signore! 
shot. Rodrigo Borgia and his family. Let's get off that. Oops. That could have been even more epic except I failed. So. Um. Yeah, let me let me pause because this is an, an intense moment. Um Yes, people that hate the assassins. Uh Templars. Um the, the current leader of the Templars is Rodrigo Borgia and his family, as in the Rodrigo Borgia, as in Pope Alexander VI from history. I think it was VI. Anyway, um, he, at the end of the last game, I kicked his ass, spared his life, and now he's getting his revenge by sending his papal armies to destroy the, to, to destroy the area. Um, all of these are the Templar armies, essentially. Combat in Brotherhood is so satisfying, from what I recall. Oh, shoot. There's me, kick the king! And there's Uncle Mario. And Katarina Sforza. I know you're there, Ezio! It's a prison. It's the Pope course. told me about you and your little group of assassins. Andres! Give me the gun, his friend passion for us! We've had too much bloodshed. I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours. Um, they introduce him throughout through the course of the game, but uh, he's the Pope's son, Cesare Borgia. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! Ugh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Stop! Move! Get the bastard! Complicated. No, the Borgias were never the pinnacle of 
papalness. Um, they go into it, but basically the blonde that was hanging off of him uh, in that one scene, it's his sister. So, you know. Claudia, no! Getting time to Serezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. <laughs> Let me through. I must go help the troops. Hurry, Ezio! Where's mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie a Dio. We could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Statues of past assassins. <sighs> Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town! Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse! You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. The people. That's who she's talking about. The people. The civilians. Because it's a just cause. Rip Ezio. And now we move on to the next assassin in the line. Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. Find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're back in the modern we're day. We're at the Auditori Villa. This yes, is Desmond. It's our last safe house in Italy. And his, uh, it turns out the Templars are watching the border. Team. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly, maybe. I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip really? ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. 
then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded to cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. Desmond's voice? Uh, or Sean's voice? Uh, black hair or blonde hair? Because they're, bo they're both voice actors from all over the place. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. Um, We're not getting in this way. What's her next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not I'll be a taking good a break here in a minute. Do we have any uh, after this cut we scene. Need to cover up the van. I and, really had to stress this. Um, I'll look yeah, him up but then. We are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Ooh, a ghostly apparition of Ezio. Alright. We'll pause it there for a moment. Because I have to uh, step away for a moment. Um, but yes. Uh, stick around for the intermission. Because there will be a, a new intermission song playing. Uh, from the band Galactic Kraken. Which I'm promoting down below my camera. Um, I will be back towards the end of that song. At the end of that song. See you guys in a minute. Stick around.
I got distracted. Um, typing it. I got distracted typing in chat. Uh, <laughs> sorry, give me a second. Let me finish this message. Uh... Okay. Um, so yeah, that song is Final Frontier um, by Galactic Kraken from their new album uh, Starship Velociraptor. Uh, it is available for pre-order on their uh, website, which is on screen down here, and um, is, uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, available for listening in the, uh, in the, uh, on YouTube, in the YouTube link that I, that I just put, that I just put in the chat. Um, yes, and to answer your question, Dorito, about, uh, the voice of, um, Sean, it is, yeah, uh, it is Danny Wallace. So if you look him up on IMDb or Google or whatever, you'll probably find out. Okay, so... Ezio, come back! Come back, friend! I want to be friends with your ghost. Follow me. Lucy, are you coming? Or are you hanging back there? Are you coming? Okay, you're not coming. Modern day Monteregioni. Desmond, that was pretty awesome. It just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone, with, with massive targets painted on our backs. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, 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 you do that, Sean. <sighs> Why won't this turn on? It's great to be out of the Animus. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the embedded six type. What? Desmond. I know how to have fun. Oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay. After we <coughs> save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> Awkward. We have light. What was that? I don't see oh, anything. Geez. More ghosts. Visual representation of the uh, bleeding effect is what he's seeing. Uh, the bleeding effect Run, is a side effect of the animus, the technology he uses to experience oh. the ancestors' memories. So Ezio's memories. Oof! Ouch! Right in the groin, here. too. What? Yikes! Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay? Sixteen, or Subject Sixteen, was the subject uh, who the Templars had experimented on before they kidnapped Desmond. Uh, he, they kept him in the Animus for so long that he went full batshit crazy and... Um, and uh great stuck i can get on killed team. himself essentially painted Ready. cryptic messages and, and things on the wall in his own blood he died and it's Any chance you can lift lucy's that gate? fault not unless you want me to end up like because that because she was the one who was supervising it i'll find a way around working for the templars at the time though undercover for the assassins can drop into the corridor below through here. Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. <laughs> Desmond? Hey, lady. <sighs> more ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me.
Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. How about this? What are you going to... <gasps> nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. Seriously? Rude. No. Up we go. Ready. Uh, if at any point you want to uh, catch my previous streams, uh, they're available on my YouTube channel. You know, when channel, I came here last. When Ezio came Which here. is available in my link. Yeah, I meant Ezio. I shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. It's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch! Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza, and I get a swim in a toilet. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I've got this one. There's another lever up ahead. Come over here. It just wants me to dive into the water. Okay. Oh That's man, right. it's freezing! Stop whining! It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. I mean, that's a fair point. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. Release it. How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? Come on, Lucy. I've got you. Thanks. You don't think he's exaggerating? I don't think he's either. I think she's just trying to spare his ego a little bit. I love that they're showing us in reverse order how the uh, Adatore has escaped. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. 
Stand at the edge and get ready. Ready. So she was okay with being thrown there, but not before. Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Soldati, I have found an entrance. Here? You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. Well, life is full of disappointments. I mean, they probably used to. Yeah, it's kind of like a spiritual flashback. Um, except it's also a... Um, it's more than I'll that, in that it's, Good. Let me um... Good. just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Oh. Uh... Because he's reliving his ancestors' memories through technology- the, through the technology known as the Animus, um, there's a side effect that's causing him to basically Got it. have those memories more present in his brain than they Thank should you, than Desmond. they should be um, and so he's not just yeah it, it a spiritual flashback is a pretty actual actually now that I think about it a pretty accurate description of what's happening helping an old lady across the bridge now it's my turn to even the score Thanks. It's a start. Do your magic. Okay. Oh, it wants me to go down the ladder. I mean, I could just dive in, but I would rather not, actually. And then over here, and then up, and over. Up, over, and then over some more, and then up some more, and up. There we go. And deliver. Up you go. Pull the lever, Crump. Thanks. We make a good team. Yeah, we do. Okay. <sighs> Come on, Desmond, let's go. I can see the sanctuary. I can too. There's Altair's stony butt. Altair being the uh Assassin you played as in in the past of the uh, first game The ancestor you played as in the first game and There's Ezio again Wow so old. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. something here can you open the damn bookcase Desmond
You guys did it. About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. <sighs> Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Okay, everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, I did guys. Swim need power down sewer. here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps. Maybe you'd like me to to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. So pissy. Right, look around Monte Regioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. Fair point. And this is a spot Ezio stood in. Dove out of that hole right there. And stood right there. And basically watched the city burn for a bit. Trippy. A little bit. I love it that nobody looks outside their windows in Monteregioni in modern day. Even though their lights are on. Nobody here, nobody looks out their windows to, to figure out who's running on their ancient rooftops or up their ancient walls. Ah, there's some more. back 
Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. <laughs> Right, or who is stealing their power. Yeah, exactly. Do you Stop. have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um, in 1421... Yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. So, what do you think of Monteregioni? This is not Monteregioni. Monteregioni existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence, and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. He's not you wrong. know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do now. Fair. Uh, let's talk to Rebecca. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into Baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? Matter of fact, he will. Always a tech geek? Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started playing with computers. Who knew that coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. You know? Because that... that is not normal. <laughs> the snark. I love the snark. Come on, talk to her. Talk. Focusing on this. Okay. Hey, Lucy. What so. are we gonna do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the Apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe, but as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above. Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the US, China, and Russia, but there are no clear leads yet. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for pieces of Eden. As far as I know, Abstergo has no clue about the temples and Ezio's apple. We might actually be ahead for once. Ezio's, uh, Ezio's apple or the pieces of Eden, they're technologi technology that various uh, artifacts from history and mythology are based off of. Uh, they are bits of technology that have near magical uh, abilities because any technology sufficiently enough advanced would appear to be uh, magic to those who don't understand it. There's no time to talk. All right. What else can I do? Can I get on the computer? Nope. Uh, interact with anything else? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Um, yeah, okay. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. In 45 seconds, get the longest kill streak possible.
21 kills. That's nowhere near the amount that I used to be able to get. I've gotten, in the past, I've gotten 50 kills on that. Desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but... Well, who knows? <sighs> Ezio wakes up Calmate. to yet another woman the standing on the top of him. Soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Assassin's robes. To be honest, these are more. I like these ones more than the than the uh, Assassin's Creed 2 ones. Uh, Roma. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the Mausoleo. Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Thank you very much for everything Adio. you've done for me. Farewell, good woman. So polite. As good as new. Find a doctor to heal the wounds from the villa attack. Do not drop below one health square. Okay. Oh. Well, considering I only have one health square. Basically, don't I need to find any a doctor. damage. Require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I Four can recommend doctors. several good colleagues around the sea. Would suggest leeches Do you need for a broken arm. Else? Fresh caught leeches. Who requires bleeding? Okay. Someone my age. Imbecile. <laughs> I mean, Ezio is like 20, 30, 30, uh, 20 or 30 at this point. I don't remember. Beck. <laughs> See, he sounds exactly like people, like, like a 30 year old. My back. Ooh, my back. <laughs> 
Ooh, a feather. Interesting. Uh, one of the things that they added to this game that they didn't have in 2 was that they made it so that you can... If you come across any of the collectibles in the game, like the feathers or the the flags or whatever are collectibles. I don't remember what all are collectible in this. Um, you come across them, Worth they will... Worth out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. If you look at them in the... To finish my thought, if you look at them with the uh, eagle vision, it will mark them as... Uh, mark them on your map. At least we got my boy off to the Fattoria in Campania. Will Padre Donato be handing out food tomorrow? I am a proud man, but even I must eat. Charity for all they say. But the pompous ass of a priest bought my husband's finest bag and would not pay half the asking price. He said it was. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It does start in tw it does start around the around the twenties. It's not just the thirties. Oh, I better not get too close to these slow walking thugs. What are the council doing anyway? Anyone competent to end up this real near long time? I saw another corpse in this I will say it is almost six o'clock, which means our stream time is almost done. I will finish this mission and then we'll call it. And if that takes me over a little bit, then fine. Um, as a reminder, there will not be a Tomb Raider stream tomorrow because I will be busy uh, with local elections. I am through with this stuff. Um, there is nothing left for me here. I cannot make and it. I, and it'll be all day. So, uh, this will be the one stream of this week with, uh, with, uh, streams picking up next week as usual. I'm not fired, because, you know, it's better things to do. Well, not better things to do. It's, a, it's, uh, it's another scheduled thing. They sure are taking the longest route possible to their destination, aren't they? And again, it is Rome, so I mean, pretty big place even back then. Did you have any luck? Oh, no. Desmond, I don't know if you're looking for something from 16, she was but last beautiful. time... <laughs> she was, until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope, to treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Kill the target with the hidden blade. Can do. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Sorry, uh, Sean was talking to me during that cutscene, and that didn't go well. Aren't you a funny man? Because the cutscene talked over him. Uh, he was saying, if you're looking for uh, specific things, then 
I was near one. He was letting me know I was near one of the collectibles, essentially. Nice work down there. Uh, not my best. Nope, wrong person. Okay, well, I still got my kills with the hidden blade, so, so. Thirteen and almost never leaves the house. Was that something one of the uh, NPCs talked about, science? Or am I missing something? No! Oh. How about no? <laughs> No! No! Don't do it! I got a nice fear of No! I don't do it! No! Don't do it! I live! Don't die! Come, friend! No, friend. Ah, uh, random NPCs mentioned something about... Okay, I think I follow. I... Put, this, put, put the weapons down, Ezio. Loot the bodies. It is uh, 5.51, which means our stream is almost over. Um, so I will get that and then leave the Animus. So, uh, again, remember that uh, there will not be a Tomb Raider stream this week, tomorrow. There will be instead, uh, we'll be back with more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on Monday. Break time. And, you know, things. So, um, yeah, um, also the VOD of the stream will be going up on YouTube, hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Um, you can watch me fail at that cannon thing another four times or however many times I did it. Um, but yeah, um, on YouTube is every prior stream I've done, which is Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, um, Tomb Raider 1, and what I've done so far of Tomb Raider 2. Uh, as well as an older playthrough I did of Mirror's Edge several years ago, long before I started streaming. Um, the uh, links to all of that um, are on screen. Uh, the links to my link um, to my YouTube are in my link tree down below. Um, also on screen are a bunch of pe uh, wonderful people that I recommend you check out uh, when you can. Um, you should follow me on my social medias. Um, I have, uh, uh, what do I have? I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Instagram. Um, follow me. I'll follow me on them. Um, and uh, say hi. Let me know that. Uh, let me know who you are if you want. Um, also, you should check out my Discord, which I mentioned already. Um, it's uh, it's pretty dead at the moment, but I'm you know I'm hoping that as more people join, uh, it picks up a bit. Um, but yeah, you can follow me there, talk to me there. Um, I'm pretty much if I'm free, I'm on it. And sometimes even if I'm not free, I'm on it. Um, you'll be able to talk to me, the Queen, Rose, Science, Melador, you know, pretty much everybody who's been in this chat, um, uh, there as well. Um, so make sure you check, uh, it's that you should come join us there and have, and, uh, join the party, because it is a party, even though it's kind of dead, it's like kind of dead, but it is a party. Um, yes, there is a clip of my water bottle exploding all over me from last Tomb Raider, from last week, uh, in there as well. Um, 
Also, in the Discord, as I said I would, I put the uh, YouTube link to the entire album of the uh, Starship Velociraptor by uh, Galactic Kraken, the band that does the uh, song, my, my stream songs from the intro and the intermission and the outro. Um, so make sure you check that out as well. There, that album is actually pretty great. Um, like, I wish I could say that if, if I had to pick a favorite song at the moment from their album, uh, there's one called 10,000 Light Years, which is just really good. Just really good. I mean, they're all really good, but that one, that one is definitely great. Um, anyway, so you should check out uh, all of these people up, uh, whose names are along the top of the screen. Um, Yvonne B, uh, she streams Friday, uh, Fridays, Sundays, uh, Wednesday and occasionally Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, also, I think she's added a few more days to her schedule. I don't remember offhand though, but make sure you check her out. Um, link to her stuff is on screen at the top right. Um, then there's also uh, Melador219, whose birthday is today. Um, he streams. Uh, he streams Mon he should be streaming tonight he may be if he's up for it if he's not busy with his birthday stuff um and uh he so he generally streams mondays and wednesdays so check him out um then there's eternity's end um who streams pretty regularly um in various different places like wednesdays and sundays he plays things like call of duty outer worlds you know those kind of games uh then there's cosplay katie uh, who has been kind of on a hiatus. Um, she's, she got really busy with work and stuff at one point and I, and, you know, kind of had to fall off the grid for a bit, um, which is fair. Um, and then you should also follow, uh, uh, Emily or Ember, who is on screen, uh, who is up here as well. Uh, her TikTok is great and, uh, she streams Pokemon, uh, occasionally as well. Um, and the last one you should follow is our very own Phoenix Rose, um, who is great. Uh, she, she's great. Uh, I pop into her streams whenever I'm available and, or able, um, and, uh, though sometimes I'm late or miss them, which I suck, but, um, she's, she's generally great. She streams Wednesday night, Friday night, Sunday nights. From around 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern U.S. Eastern U.S. time. Uh, generally, she generally does things like raiding in WoW uh, on Wednesdays and Sundays, and uh, playing Magic on Fridays. Though she also may sprinkle in some Settlers of Catan or Among Us in there as well. Um, pay attention to her channel for more information and for notifications about that, uh, for about random days off of streaming and stuff like that. Um, and her stream. Uh, is very lgbtq plus heavy well i say very it is lgbtq plus heavy um she's also all about helping people and uh to leave and helping people to leave their comfort zone and push themselves to grow so check her out check all the rest of them out um they're all amazing people um um or if you want to if you don't want to bother following them you can pop in here uh anytime one of them is on because i will be hosting them uh, anytime that they're on. Um, as long as there's no conflicts, because Twitch is weird about conflicts. Um, so, yeah. Um. <laughs> Sci uh, Science just, inter uh, just messaged in the Discord saying, party like it's 1421. Um. So, I mean, you know, unplug all your power to throw away your phone and... Die of, di die of dysentery and the plague, I guess. Because uh, <laughs> that's how they partied in 1421. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you all very much for sticking with this stream. Make sure you guys hang out through the... Uh, for the for the first loop of the, uh, of the song and the outro. Um, I guarantee it is a great one. Um, and yeah, check out... Like I said, check out uh, Starship Velociraptor by Galactic Kraken. Uh at galactickraken.com. Um, you can pre-order the album there, um, or you can listen to the album on there on uh, Jonathan Young's YouTube page, uh, Jonathan Young being a member of Galactic Kraken, um, the singer at least. Uh, 
you, you can check it out on his uh, YouTube page, which is uh, linked in my Discord. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here. Um, oh, one last. Oop, I did not mean. To, I just kind of slammed my hand on the keyboard and sent a plus sign in the chat. LOL. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> This last bit is very important, so make sure you pay very close attention to this. Remember that you matter. Don't forget that. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve love. You have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from things, social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever it is, taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing. Your physical and mental health both matter, so make sure you take care of them both equally. If you need them, I have crisis resources available. Um, they're, uh, they cover things like uh, suicide prevention, substance abuse, uh, prevent, um, domestic abuse, sexual assault, that kind of stuff. Um, so please check them out if you need them. Unfortunately, they are only available in the United States of America as far as I'm aware. Um, however, I've been... Uh, I'm under the impression that I may be wrong about this, but as far as I'm aware, most other countries have some version of these available in them. Um, so if you need them and you're not in the States, please Google the information that you need, because I'm sure it will, that you will find it if you look for it. Beyond that, wear a mask, wash your hands, keep at least six feet away from each other because COVID-19 is still here. Um, make sure you get vaccinated or at least check to see if you're eligible for the vaccine. Um, and even if you have been vaccinated, uh, make sure you continue to observe social distancing um, because you can st and wear your wearing your mask and stuff because you can still potentially carry the disease without necessarily getting sick from it yourself after you've been vaccinated, which means you can carry it to other people who can then get sick from it, um, who have not been vaccinated. So at least for now, continue to be extra careful and extra safe. Have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourself and everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. See you in a week. Peace.